and it was a violent and hectic morning in Jacksonville. Police are investigating three different shootings that all happened within three hours of each other. News for Jack's reporter Aaron Farrar has the details. A teenager being shot caps off a violent Sunday morning in Jacksonville. That shooting happened at this apartment. At the Avenues and Park Avenue apartment complex off Bay Meadow Circle a little after 4 o'clock this morning. Two unknown individuals come up to the door. Some sort of alterca uh, altercation occurs and a gunshot or gun is fired into the apartment. That bullet hitting a 14 year old first responders rushing him to the hospital with non life threatening injuries. Dalton Kyes lives right next door. I kind of heard like a, um, a single gunshot. Um, I heard a, um, a lady kind of scream. Um, and I heard like, like a little bit of arguing and everything, but that's about it. This has been home for Kai's since April and nothing like this ever happened. Now he's worried. It could have been us easily. It, um, it could have been my dogs or anything um, or my girlfriend or anything. Uh, so that definitely concerns me. JSO spread out across the city early Sunday morning. The first shooting happened on Phillips Highway around 1.30. Police say a man was shot and flagged down officers who happened to be in the area for help. Paramedics took him to a hospital with non-life-threatening injuries. A little more than an hour later, around 2.40, police say a woman walked into a local hospital after being shot on Gate Parkway. Her injuries are also considered non-life-threatening. This violence is overwhelming for Kai's. Kind of makes my heart hurt, honestly. Um, the people are doing this so, uh, um, so often, so rapidly. But, I mean, I, um, I don't know what we can do about it. JSO says this morning has been so busy as you see they're still investigating that they've had to call in additional investigators to work today to try to find out the cause of all three unrelated shootings. Again, there are no suspect information for either of these shootings. If you know what happened in any of these cases, you're asked to call police as soon as you can. Reporting from Bay Meadow Circle, I'm Aaron Farrar, Channel 4, the local station.